Hi, this is Greg from Traxta and I wanted to go over a few of the differences between the 2017 Ridgeline and the previous generation. As you can see, we've got a Ridgeline here on the full post hoist and I've also got the strut out of the previous generation here. On the older style truck, the spindle bolted in to this location and we had a camber adjustment here. On the new style truck, it isn't like that. It's a strut that fits into a socket. There's no adjustment whatsoever. So what we've come up with to deal with that is a strut cap with two degrees of total adjustment. This will work on the left and right side and it will work on the older versions as well. This particular strut is a two inch high lift. We can make it also one and a half or one inch, though you will have to cut the studs on the stock truck. When it's installed, this adjustment here can be done live after everything's assembled and it's on the alignment rack. So you can get it dialed in perfectly to how you want it. The other important thing to remember is that we have to change the sway bar length. Otherwise, the sway bar will hit the control arm and bind and you won't get the full lift or even worse, you'll get horrible noises as you drive around. This is the stock length of the Ridgeline sway bar length. And this is a shorter one we put in. As you can see, it's significantly different. That's an important thing not to forget. Lastly, when putting the full two inch kit, you'll find that the axle distends and contacts a suspension mount pole. So we provide you with spacers to make sure you don't get a squeak or a vibration from that. All right, here we're looking at the front spindle area of the 2017 Ridgeline. And as you can see here, it's a strut going into a socket onto the spindle here. And how this is different than the last truck is, as I showed you on the part previously, the other system had the ability for the part to come together from the side. Now, since we have to come in through the top, this gives us the need for this to come down an extra three inches compared to the old Ridgeline. And so that's why we've updated the installation instructions. One thing that hasn't changed from the old truck is you need to be careful with these CV boots. If you're a little rough in handling them, you'll tear them and spread grease all over. This is a sharp edge here and it can easily cut that CV boot. So be cautious. So here we are at the back of the 17 Ridgeline. And one of the major changes on it is they reconfigured the rear strut a little bit. They changed the bolt pattern of the mount and they made it a little bit shorter. Here, I've got the mount from the 17 Ridgeline. The older truck was symmetrical. As you can see, this is asymmetrical. There's a right and a left. We didn't want to make three parts to cover all the variations of the Ridgeline, so we came up with this innovative new split kit design. This is designed in two parts, and it's designed to be installed on the left side, the right side, or the old style. It fits all of them. The split design means it's much easier to install. You simply disconnect the strut at the top, loosen this, loosen some subframe bolts, this slides right in and you bolt everything back up. We've probably eliminated an hour of work compared to the old kit. I'm sure you'll like that. The rest of the alignment things have not changed very much. There is an alignment kit you can get with some adjustable cams to get the camber back in spec but I think you won't have much difficulty with the back, especially with this innovative new split kit design.